Hi Georgie Burns, welcome back. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the stamp set Winter Woods. I only ordered this stamp set because I wanted that tree for one stamp. But I've used three of them now in this card. Um, to make this card I have got a blank card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at four and one eighth. Two pieces of white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, one for the middle and one for the top, and then another piece of cardstock at three and seven eighths by roughly three inches to go on there. And I've got a scrap for the tree. Right, to start with, we're going to stamp the tree first so that it can dry before we cut it out. And I'm using Garden Green for this. Right, this card is the first time I've used my new Garden Green, so it's very juicy. And I'm just stamping that down on my scrap of card. Like that. Over stamp somewhere there. But that don't matter because I'm going to be cutting that out. I'll just clean that off because I want the block for the trees. Right. Um, yeah. Close that up. We don't need that no more. Put that to one side while it dries. Like this one. I am going to cut the sentiment thinking of you this season in crumb cake. I'm going to stamp that first in the right hand court, bottom corner. I'm going to stamp that down there. The reason I've stamped that first is because we're going to cut this at an angle, you know, for the hilly bit. And we're just going to go to the top, just like that. And then we're going to get a door back. Come cake one. And we're just going to go over the edge in crumb cake. You might think this is all weird, but it all comes together like that. Right, now I'll leave that out. We're going to get our top piece and we're going to lay that down like that. We're going to bring on our trees, let's move that. And we want, I want, a piece of scrap paper because we're going to stamp on. Now, I only want three trees. So, ink up the three trees. Right, so, it's that one. And I'm going to put this, I want some of the trunks to go under my snow. So I'm going to place it like that, pull away my snow and stamp it down. I'm going to put my snow on top. Looks like that, but they're a bit too low. So turn it over and do it again. Right, don't go too low this time. So I 
that's a bit better. Like that. Now, what I'm going to do is take this and run this through the falling snow embossing folder. Now this is a nice stamping up one, this is an, a generic one, there's no name on it. But it is the falling snow one. And we're just going to run that through the embossing folder. I'll be back in a minute. Right, instead of bringing up my um, big shot up to me, I went to the big shot. So, and there we have it running, snowing on my card, which I think looks nice. So, we're going to glue this all down. make sure it hits the bottom and the edges no overhang and then we're going to glue this onto our card base side right um what oh our Christmas tree right I'm going to cut this out by hand. There are dies, but I never got the dies. But there is dies to this set. Now I'm being very careful, trying not to touch the ink because. The first time I did this, it all smudged, but then I did use um, shaded spruce. But I changed my mind on that. Doesn't take long to cut out. <coughs> Sorry about that. going in and out of all the branches nothing fancy even a little white border as you do I realized I was touching the ink this should be dry now because I did everything first before I decide to cut it out I 
And this we will put on dimensionals. going to pop that on dimensionals another one bites the dust and place that on top of the writing but don't press it down because we've got one more thing to do which I didn't get a stamp out for I've not got it and that's the shadow of the tree so with crumb cake we're just going to stamp the shadow of the tree oh no, a bit lower down that's it, just under there so it looks like a shadow I forgot to do it on the other one it wasn't until I saw the stamp that I thought oh I never used that so that is my Christmas tree at Christmas card. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you'd like to, s to be notified of any more cards I upload, then just press the bell icon. All I can say is thanks for visiting. And I hope to see you again soon.